All right, guys, we're back at it today with adaptations for science. So, well, we've been talking about adaptations in a few different ways. We've done some sorts and stuff. Um, we're gonna kind of do something like that again, but uh, first we're gonna talk about, well, I think we've already been talking about physical or structural adaptations. So I'm gonna start out with that. So, structural or physical adaptations are characteristics, physical characteristics or features that help an organism survive in its environment. So for example, that could be like the beak or the bill on a bird, the fur on a bear, things like that. So now we're gonna talk about behavioral adaptations and I'll give you a couple examples of that as well. So behavioral adaptations are things that organisms do to survive. So it's actions that they do or perform. So an example of that would be migration. You guys have seen geese fly through the sky um, from north to south in the spring or vice versa when winter is coming, you know? So, so we have migration. So also something like a bird call. So birds make up different calls to communicate with each other and they make these calls and change these calls. It's a behavioral adaptation. Anyway, I kind of created this sword. I couldn't find anything online comparable exactly to what I wanted. So I made my own and I'm gonna send you guys a link as well. But no, not to worry. If you don't have a printer or anything, you don't have to print this out. You could change this into an assignment where they draw or you draw your own. Um, sorting sort of game, but we're going to sort differences between behavioral and physical adaptations. So if you guys see here, this is what I'm gonna do and I am gonna speed this up. But I have all these little pictures here. We've got webbed feet, feathers, migration, building a nest, sharp claws, storing lots of waters, I mean, storing lots of water, hibernation, traveling in groups and wings. We're gonna cut all these out. Then we're gonna break them down into uh, one of those two categories and put them where they belong. So remember the two categories, physical adaptations and behavioral. So yeah, I'm gonna go get us some scissors and then we're gonna speed this up and then we'll talk about it and sort them together. But stay tuned. All right guys, so now we've got all of our pieces cut out and what I'm gonna do is make a category. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Make a category for behavioral adaptations. Get some more tape. And Physical, let's put that right here. Physical and behavioral. All right, cool. So remember our directions. Most important part here is you can do it. You can. Okay, so we've cut all of our pieces out and paste or tape is what we're gonna do next. Each picture into that appropriate category. So if you guys followed along, you'll have all of your little pieces cut out. So I'm gonna start with this one that I dropped here, which is traveling in groups. If you guys see this picture right here, you'll see that it is a group of fish. So is traveling in groups something that is a physical adaptation? Does it change? Is it like a fin or a part of their body or is it a behavior? If you said it's something they do and it's a behavior, then you were right. So we're gonna get a little piece of paper, glue, or whatever you're using. And we're gonna put that guy right under behavioral because that's a behavior, something they do. All right, next, let's find another one. So next I picked up our little camel guy, if you guys see our picture of our camel with his like big old hump on top of him. So this one says storing lots of water. Hmm, 
is storing lots of water something that they do with their behavior? Is that like a behavior change or is it physical? So if you guys notice, all that water gets stored kind of up in this area in this fatty little hump on the camel's back. So that means it is a physical characteristic because it has to do with how our camel looks. So we're gonna put it right here. And we're gonna grab another one because we're gonna do all these together because you guys are awesome. Okay, next we have wings. Ah. All right, so wings. Is that something to do with your behavior and how you act and something that you do? Or is that a physical feature? Is that part of like, if I had wings on my back, that would be physical, right? So normally that's what wings are. So that's going to go under physical adaptations. Get me another piece of tape here. And we'll get another sorting card. Ooh, feathers. Hmm, does feather have to do with doing something or is it physical? Is it a part of the animal and the way that it looks? If you said it's part of the animal and the way that it looks, then you are correct. And you're gonna sort that guy right over here into physical adaptations. Next, let's pick this guy right here, webbed feet. You know, like these little duck feet or whatever they are. <laughs> but that, is that going to be a behavior or is it something physical about the animal? I'm just gonna put it in the category and I'm not gonna say it because I think you already know where it goes. All right, let's move on to our next one. Next, ooh, this is a good one. If you guys see, you have some geese here that are flying. And underneath, we have the word migration. Now, if you guys were listening at the beginning of this video, I already told you this answer in one of our definitions. So, is this physical or a behavioral adaptation? I'm not gonna say anything for this one either because I know you guys are listening. So I'm just gonna put this one down and we're gonna move on. All right. Ooh, how about this one? So if you guys see, there's some little eggs sitting in a nest. And this one says, with the words underneath, building a nest. So is building a nest, if I was to build a nest, is that part of me or am I doing that for a reason? to help my offspring, right? So if you're doing something, y'all know where that goes. Good job, everybody. I'm so proud of you for following along. You're doing a great job. All right, we've got another one here. We've got this cute little sleepy bear. Look, he's snoozing, sleeping. And underneath we have the word hibernation, hibernation sleeping through the winter. So, we know what hibernation means. We've talked about this this week. Is that a physical trait or is it a behavior? Is it something they do? Well, this bear is doing a little sleeping during the winter. So, I think we know where that goes. And we are now down to our last one, our tiebreaker. So let's figure out where that is going to go. We've got sharp claws. So, sharp claws, is that a behavior? I mean, it would be if I went, ah, but it's not. So you guys know where that goes. And that concludes our activity. I hope this was fun. I actually had a lot of fun making it. Um, I miss you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Great job.